Hi and welcome. We're doing analytical geometry and we're looking at circle examples. Uh, we looked in the previous video at the general equation for circles and that equation was y is x minus p squared plus y minus q squared is equal to r squared and we have this equation if the coordinate pq is the center of the circle and r is the radius r is the radius okay let's do it like that excellent so let's go and look at a few example questions write the equation of a circle centered at 0.0, .0 that has a radius of 3 so we can literally just use this x minus the x coordinate that's p of my center is 0 squared plus the y coordinate is also 0 and then the radius is 3 now very important in our equation it's 3 squared so if we simplify this x minus 0 is just x so basically we have x squared plus y squared is equal to 9 that is my answer great stuff not very difficult let's look at uh, question 2 right the equation of a circle centered at 6 comma negative 5 with a diameter very important they give us the diameter immediately you should know that if they give you the diameter the radius is just half of that so if the diameter is 16 the radius is 8 write down our, our equation x minus the x coordinate of the center is 6 squared plus y minus the y coordinate is negative 5 so it's minus minus 5 a negative and a negative is a positive so or the negative of negative the opposite of negative is positive y plus 5 squared is equal to and then r squared 8 squared is 64 excellent that's not difficult at all write down the equation of a circle centered at 8 comma negative 10 that passes through the point 16 and negative 2 now there's probably a few ways you could do that i'm going to do the the method that i always suggest let's substitute what we do know already we have our general formula there there's our general formula we just substitute what we already have we have x minus p is the x coordinate of my turning point that's 8 squared plus y minus minus 10 the negative of negative is positive 10 squared is equal to now we don't have the radius okay so we'll keep that just as r now one thing i always say is in a general equation if i have a general equation the values p q and r they represent what we call parameters so they're parameters and here's my here's my famous saying when you have one parameter left to solve substitute a point that's always the answer okay if I ask a question that's almost always the answer so x minus 8 squared in this expression we only have one parameter left to solve so all we need to do is substitute a point now not just any point a point that's actually on that graph I mean you can't just sub any point it doesn't it has to be a point that has something to relate it to that graph not something related it has to be on the part graph now they tell us this circle passes through this point 16 comma 2 which means we can literally substitute it in there in other words we can say x is 16 minus 8 squared plus y is negative 2 plus 10 squared is equal to r squared what do we get so this is 8 8 squared plus 8 squared is equal to r squared so now many people will say oh that means r is equal to 16 because it's 8 plus 8 squared and it's r squared or maybe some would say 8 no please don't let's first simplify you can't take the square root yet 8 squared and 8 squared is 64 plus 64 so r squared is equal to 128 
r squared is equal to 128 so r is plus minus the square root of 128 now again r represents the radius so the negative is nonsense it makes no sense can't can't be that so um, 128 though is uh, 2 to the power of 7 okay I think so 2 to the power of 6 is 64 so 2 to the power of 7 so there is no perfect square root for this thing so this is the square root of 2 to the power of 6 times 2 to the power of 1 okay so 2 to the power of 6 is equal to um, or we can take the square root of that that's just 2 to the power of 3 it's 2 to the power of 3 is 8 but we still have the square root of 2 left we can't do that this is called simple third form so if they were to ask me what is the radius of this equation and they asked me not to use my calculator or to do it uh, to leave my answer in simple third form this is my radius but to be honest I could have finished this question at this point already because they asked me f to write down the equation in the equation I only need r squared so as the moment I had r squared I could have stopped and just substituted it in there okay so my final answer is x minus 16 oh no eight apologies x minus 8 squared plus y plus 10 squared is equal to r squared so you can either take this thing and square it but we've already have that um, before so in case we maybe made a mistake yeah let's just use that answer anyway now I said there's more than one way to do that and uh, and let me explain the other way comes down to exactly the same thing if we were to just represent this um, on a Cartesian plane I don't I'm, I'm not I'm not doing this perfectly correct I'm not trying to but there's my circle there's my center somewhere and then they tell me that um, th they give me the center and again I did I did not even try I definitely didn't so this is my, my point negative um, uh, not negative 8 comma negative 10 you can see I'm my axes are completely wrong I, I didn't try to m do it correct what I and then they tell me that it passes through another point and they give me another point and I'm again not even trying to get this point correct even though you could have you could have done a sketch that's min, uh, uh, more or less correct but this is what they give me um, in in my information you could have gone and said well I can get the radius by just using the distance formula between these two points this is my radius and if you used your distance formula between these two points you would have actually had this exact formula right here that is my distance formula and you would have gotten exactly the same answer so um, using this method and this method doesn't just work for analytical geometry it works for literally any graph where you have parameters representing parts of that uh, or, or properties of that graph when you have one parameter left to solve substitute a point let's leave it there but I'm definitely not finished with examples they get more difficult than this so in the next couple of videos we'll look at some more uh, difficult examples look forward to seeing you there bye